Good evening, parents. It's Debbie Richardson, principal of San Jose Middle School. Today, I am taking a moment to introduce or actually reintroduce the sixth grade schedule that begins on January 4th. We've been talking about this schedule to students for quite some time, and I've sent some videos home, and we've gone over this at a parent meeting. So this is nothing new or a surprise for sixth graders. It's just as we had planned. So I just want to make sure, because um, things can get a little confusing, that um, for cohort A students, this is a video for students who are in cohort A. We have two cohorts, cohort A and cohort B, and your student was assigned to a cohort uh, in their first period Google Classroom. So they should know which cohort they are in. So for sixth graders on the first day of school on January 4th, they should plan to arrive on campus by 8.10 in the morning. We cannot allow students on campus before 8.10. They will arrive in person to their first period class and then go to their third period class and then they will pick up a lunch, which is provided to them at no charge, and will return home and they need to get home by 11.05 so that they will do a Zoom class at, on, for period five. And then in the afternoon, they will be doing their own self-guided work for periods two, four, and six. We call this asynchronous work. This is work that is designed for them by the teacher for them to do on their own. So let's review the schedule again one more time. Things in bright yellow right up here, these are the classes where we are expecting your student in person at SJMS. These light yellow sections here and here, those are Zoom classes that your student is expected to log into. The blue parts of the schedule is when your student is working on their own doing the work for the classes whose teachers they have not seen that day. So it's important that we introduce to students the idea that they are in school full time, just like they used to be from 820 in the morning until 245 in the afternoon. Some of that time they're with their teachers that that is in yellow, but some of the time they're working alone and that is in blue. So it's important that they understand those parameters and we are looking forward to seeing them even more on January 4th. And of course, we wish all of you a happy holiday season.